everybody. I, I, I'm actually not VP of business development. I'm, I'm, I'm the guy who like cleans up the trash. Actually, truly I am. I've, I've been running around fixing problems for Tencent for the last six years. But anyway, I'm here to tell you about a little bit about Tencent and about what we're looking for, I think, because many of you, and, and I thank the previous speakers for sort of you know, pushing us a little bit, um, might be interested in whether Tencent would, would, would want to invest in your projects or invest in your um, company. So let me just sort of quickly go through um, some of the overall statistics of the Chinese market. I'm not going to like read these slides or anything, so I, I encourage you to take a look. And um, I mean, the basic, the basic news is that things are going incredibly fast. Um, you know, a few years ago, attention, we were worried that the PC market was sort of, was going to plateau and, um, and we were going to be in trouble, you know, because we've been growing really fast and the market's been rewarding us for growing really fast. But the problem with that, of course, is if you slow down growing really fast, the market will also punish you um, for doing that. Um, you know, the mobile grain market is just, I don't know, it just went boom, right? I mean, it's kind of a ridiculous slide. Um, and so it's become a really, really big focus for us because we've had this great success in other segments of the Chinese internet services market, uh, not just in games, but in particular in PC online games. And now with mobile expanding as fast as it is, we really need to maintain our position as a leader in the market. So one of the other things that has definitely emerged is that Android is really, really important. Um, there was a feeling, even inside Tencent a few years ago, that all the people who had money had iPhones and that, you know, Android was, you know, maybe there's a lot of those, but nobody pays any money. So that's not true. Um, and Android is expanding faster and faster. And this, uh, this information about the, the Chinese equipment manufacturers that are going to build these sub-$100 smartphones, I think, is really something we all need to pay attention to because that hardware is not only going to be available in China, it's going to be all over the world. And it's going to have one good effect, which is many, 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 many new users. It's going to have one really bad effect, which is lots of really weird kind of crappy hardware with weird versions of Android on it that doesn't really work the way that you want, which actually is a lot like the PC games market where there's all sorts of PCs all over the world that have all sorts of weird graphics cards and sound cards and uh, non-standard this and that, and you just kind of have to deal with it. Um, and so I suggest to all of you that you figure out how you're going to deal with it because this is, this is the future. Um, so, you know, <laughs> actually, my phone doesn't work here either. It's really frustrating, by the way. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so, so, you know, the network is always going to be a problem. Um, but, you know, again, it's just one of those things that we all have to deal with. Uh, in terms of, of China, you know, one of the difficulties for you guys trying to come in from the outside is it's a really complicated, messed up market with all sorts of people doing all sorts of stuff made even more complicated by government regulations and licensing requirements and, and all sorts of crap. So, um, you, know, having, you know, here's another example. Um, and so, uh, here's a slide that I, I didn't even delete the note from. But why Tencent could help you guys is that we do all of this stuff. Um, you know, we, we don't just run games. We also provide all sorts of other services um, on the internet. We have very big social networking, everything from QQIM, which was our original product, through newer products like WeChat. Um, you know, we like to think of it that we're sort of providing things for the user 24 hours a day. And they go through this cycle where they're doing certain things in the morning, and then they're at work, or they're in school, and then they are, you know, having dinner, and then they're after dinner, and you know, here are all the different things that we provide that allow them to basically spend their ent entire life online within the confines of the Tencent platform, um, which maybe is a bad idea, but um, hopefully it's a good idea for all of us, and hopefully we can share some of that with you guys. Um, this is, again, this is so you sort of understand who we are, the structure of Tencent, um, where we have our studio system, we have 
the social and mobile game studios, those are our internal studios, um, and we have publishing. Um, now, one important thing to understand about pu our publishing group, uh, which I think is, speaks to how do we deal with many, many different products, is that if you look inside of publishing, publishing is very siloed. So there are teams that are assigned to different products, and those teams, their KPI or their, you know, their, their um, success is measured based on the service they provide to their products and the success of those products in the market. And we don't really allow those teams to sort of cross, um, I don't know, cross collaborate in some way because one of the questions I get a lot is, how do I know that Tencent will give my product a fair shake? Because, hey, maybe we've got an internal game that's not that, not that dissimilar um, because honestly there's a lot of games that are very similar. Um, or how do I know that you know, this other competitor of mine who's also operating on your network isn't getting a better deal than I am or isn't getting you know, more focus? And the, one of the reasons we run publishing as a highly siloed environment is that Tencent, we see ourselves as a platform company. And if the platform is not relatively agnostic to the products and to our partners, then why would you work with us, right? And that's not to say that some really big company might not be able to push us to have a better deal in some ways than a smaller company. But what I'm telling you is that from an operational standpoint of view, everybody gets what they need and we're very, very careful to be fair to all of our different operating partners. Um, again, these are all the things sort of that connect together. QQ, a lot of... Um, QQ was built off of, off of the success of the QQ IM platform. Um, QQ Mobile obviously is a huge, huge platform. Um, and WeChat is growing. WeChat's about half the size of QQ Mobile. Um, but it's, you know, it's growing really fast. It's sort of, it's sort of the sexy platform. Um, but uh, you know, we can definitely bring the users to, to any products that you might want to work with us on. Um, here's a quick look at our top products. Above the line is the um, PC products, um, which have been successful for a long time now. Uh, I mean, these, these numbers are sort of crazy. Um, you know, for our mobile games, uh, again, WeChat um, is doing really well. We've got, you know, when we launched the first set of WeChat games, we got, you know, tens of millions of downloads just in, you know, a number of days. And while we haven't actually hit the two billion number yet, but uh, hopefully we'll get there at least in aggregate pretty soon. <laughs> um, here's a look at where Tencent is currently operating in terms of where we have studios or we have other offices. Um, as you can see, we're heavily concentrated in Southeast Asia, but we're all starting to branch out into other parts of the world. Um, this is a look at where WeChat has been doing well. So WeChat inside of China uh, has done extremely well. The WeChat in emerging markets is also starting to do well. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but the WeChat Game Center just launched outside of China a few weeks ago. So we have the WeChat Game Center inside of China that has about, I think about 10 games on it now. It's a very, very highly curated environment, um, whereas QQ Mobile is sort of more like an app store. Um, and we're now pushing that out into the rest of the world. So, I want to talk a little bit about what Tencent, uh, I've got two minutes left, what Tencent is looking for. And the truth is we're looking for everything, right? We're in a, in a fortunate space in which we are able to make very large investments at the high end in very in successful existing companies that have proven businesses, but we also understand that in order to have a healthy ecosystem and in order to participate in the whole ecosystem, we need to be willing to make those tiny little investments in small startups so we do have a seed investment program. We're investing in companies that are you know, on their way to going um, into the market. We're investing in companies that have just released and are starting to have success. And you know, we have made some very large investment in existing successful companies. But the most important thing is that we have a really, really strong belief that when we invest in somebody, we're investing in them to be themselves. Like, we're not interested in making you be like Tencent. In fact, 
we have actually almost an anti-interest in making you be like Tencent. What we want you to do is be like yourself. And what we can provide for you is lots of data, lots of ex operating experience, you know, lots of support, you know, not just in terms of, of financial support, but particularly inside of China in terms of marketing support and operational support. Um, but what we don't want to do is change your company. And I really want to get that message out because in some of our you know, previous investments, there have been like these, these uh, internet haters have been out in force saying, oh, Tencent has bought so-and-so and they're now going to destroy them and turn them into some you know, cheesy Chinese knockoff company. So first of all, we're not cheesy Chinese knockoff company, but, but um, even if we were, we would not be interested in making you guys into cheesy Chinese knockoff companies. And there's lots of great companies in China, in China doing original work. There's lots of great companies all over the world doing original work. And we want to help you to continue to do that work because why would we change something that is working well? So if you're you know, wondering what it is that we want to do, that's what we want to do. We want to find really great creative companies and participate and help them to become more successful. Um, so really, we don't just invest in mobile companies. We've made some big investments in the PC business as well. Um, we're interested in all genres. We're looking at things in all stages of development. Any target markets, though, honestly, the one we care about the most is China because that's where we make most of our money. Um, the one thing is free to play. We, we're not going to um, somehow become a box product company or in, invest in games that you pay for up front. It's just not, it's not what we do. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, we're looking for great companies all over the world who are doing great things. And we hope you can become our partner and you hope you will come to us and we're coming looking for you. And thank you. <laughs>